Hello folks. Well today we're heading over to the Big Sioux River crossing at the old Klondike Bridge at the Iowa-South Dakota border. You know my father-in-law Ike Sr. used to fish here and I used to go with him. Back in earlier days Klondike had a mill with a giant cement wheel that ground grain. It was located on the Iowa side and there used to be a dam there. The Klondike Mill is often referred to as the Kruger Mill. Christian Kruger came here to the United States in 1851 and built the large farm mill at the former town of Klondike. It's in the Larchwood area. He left a few years later and his sons August and Lou operated the mill until 1922 and then it was sold to Rowan Son of Canton, South Dakota. The Klondike Mill was added to the National Register of Historic Places in 2003. Its historic significance is listed as event, and the area of significance is agriculture and industry. Well, the period recorded is 1875 to 1899. So relax, and let's enjoy the views from the quadcopter flying machine of this historic place. Uh, no, I did not fly under the bridge. There were fishing lines hanging down, there was people fishing there, and the wind turbulence and the movement of the water was uh, pretty intimidating. Couldn't hear anything.
As long as the camera can see any part of the shadow of the blades on the skids, the GoPro camera gets that worm movement, as you saw. The machine is not out of balance, it's just a natural shutter effect that happens with helis too. I'm going to try to shade the top and see if that helps. The downdraft on my skids make them vibrate a bit too. Well folks, thanks a lot for coming along and visiting the Klondike Bridge with me today. Hope you enjoyed it. Please stay tuned, we're going to have some great stuff coming up.